Hi, Scholar and Sage. Uh, this edition, we're going to go over gameplay. And in any one particular turn, a player will do an action phase, a resource phase, a free move phase, then a discard phase, and then their draw phase. And if by chance there is a winner, then the game is over. Or if you run out of cards to draw, then you have to reshuffle the deck. But typically there are five phases to any turn. Action, resource, free move, discard, and draw. So let's go over the first, action phase. You can play wealth that might be in your hand. In this case, here's a wealth card. And if it's in your hand, you can play it, and you can play it to your treasury. If it's already down on the table and in your treasury, then you can play it directly. If you play a wealth to your treasury, you can immediately spend it that action phase. You can play special actions. You can play characters from your hand. Typically, characters require wealth but not all characters. For instance, Epicure does not require a wealth and can be played immediately to the table. You can create character chains, which we've gone over in a separate video. You can initiate a contrast strike using resource cards. And here, the resource cards are played directly from the hand and we have a special video just on contrast strikes. A player during their action phase can play resources from the resource area. A character can also create resource chains that are attached to a particular character. Probably very importantly, a character can attack once per turn. Each character in supply can attack once during its owner's action phase. A character in supply can conduct an attack against an opponent. The attack value is indicated as the first number in the top left hand corner of the character card. And in this case, we'll show Behemoth. And that's a five attack and it has a three defense. But in this case, it's an action phase, so a player can attack with five if Behemoth is on the table and in supply. Also, during your opponent's action phase, a character can defend. And a character can defend once during each opponent's action phase. Just as they can attack once during your action phase. So a character can Defend multiple times if you're playing with multiple players during the turn, but it can only attack once during your action phase unless you have a special action card or some type of special ability or game feature. Also, defending characters can use damage block during your opponent's attack. Next, we have a resource phase. You play resource cards from the hand to the resource area. Once played to the resource area, resource cards can then be used to supply characters in the next action phase. Some resource cards might contain a special action, and these can only be played while in the player's hand. Once used, a player cannot change the decision. And we've discussed this in a separate uh, video. So if you have a resource card and it has a special action, if you play the special action, that means that unless it's reshuffled, it cannot be, it cannot uh, act as a resource card once it's played as a special card or special action. And vice versa. If a resource is used as a resource card, it, you cannot later change your mind and try to play that resource card that's on the table or even in the discard pile that you cannot use that card unless the deck has been reshuffled. And that doesn't happen very often. 
The next phase would be a free move phase, and a player may make one free move during their turn. After the free move phase, there's the discard phase. So if you have three cards in your hand, and you're going to pick up three, but the maximum cards you can hold in your hand at the end of the draw phase is five. So you, at, during this phase, you might want to discard a card that you don't think, out of those three, you don't think is going to be of value to you in the rest of the game. Now's the appropriate time to discard it so that you are able to pick up the full amount of cards or at least have the option to pick up the full amount of the three cards to draw your hand to five total. So after the discard phase, there's the draw phase. And then, as I mentioned, if the deck is, goes to no, no cards, you immediately reshuffle the deck. I mean, reshuffle the discard pile, and that becomes your new deck. And then winning the game, players are immediately eliminated when they reach zero Elon points. The game ends when there's only one player that remains. And sometimes you may be just playing against one opponent. Uh, three is a good number for opponents but we've played up to four with great results. Hope you enjoy the game. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. And you can email us at vonrifflegames at gmail.com or you can visit our website at vonrifflegames.com. Thank you. And you can also search for our videos on YouTube. And I would search under Scholar and Sage and they should come right up.